Poppins is here. Hello, Poppins. Hello, Charles. How are you feeling? Good, how are you? Good. It's not supposed to be here. It can't survive in this climate zone. Other giants of this tree species were around when Jesus walked the earth. But this one, it's almost 80 years old. We're at the Lake Bluff Farm in Manistee, Michigan, and we're here to see some giant sequoias. I'm Chuck. I'm Poppins. Let's go check out this sequoia tree. Let's go check out this sequoia tree. Let's go check out this sequoia tree. It was 1948 and Edward and Gertrude Gray brought back six eight inch seedlings of giant sequoia trees from California. And they planted it here at the Lake Bluff Arboretum. They planted six, but three survived and a lot of arborists say it's one of the healthiest giant sequoias. Probably healthier than the California sequoias. So at 80 years old, this sequoia tree is already half the size of the two to 3,000 year old sequoias out in California. And there are other sequoia trees planted around Michigan, but none compared to this one. His ancestor, General Sherman, is the largest tree in the world at 275 feet tall. So a couple years ago, a guy named David Millark from Archangel Ancient Tree Archive scaled this tree to grab some seedlings and material so that they could start a sap line, I guess. Is that a word? Sap line or a bloodline for trees? Interestingly, these survivors, there's one, the giant champion, and then there's one right here that's a little bit smaller, and I believe the third one is down there in the woods. These survivors are on the coast of Lake Michigan, and arborists postulate that one reason that these trees have survived here is the climate from Lake Michigan. And this tree apparently is the tallest coast redwood this side of the Mississippi. And a lot of people think that this particular tree has some special characteristics that allow it to thrive here. And because of that, they're kind of busy working and spreading its offspring around the world because some arborists say that a giant sequoia tree can sequester 10 times the carbon of any other tree in the planet. The bark can be up to three feet thick to protect it from fires and insects and other invaders. This one is about 116 feet tall. Which is almost half the size of its 2,000 year old ancestors. And it's only 80 years old. And they've even started planting other giant sequoia seedlings around, including offspring of this giant, which this needs a name like Bubba or something. And this park, well, Ed and Gertrude, the ones who planted the trees here, they built an arboretum, and there's actually other champion trees that have existed here. And who were Ed and Gertrude Gray? Well, Ed was related to the Morton family, which is the Morton Salt family with the blue can and the little girl with the umbrella spilling the salt out. And why an arboretum? Well, interestingly, Jay Sterling Morton, Ed's grandfather, started Arbor Day, and he was actually the Secretary of Agriculture under Grover Cleveland. But if you take a visit here to the, the arboretum, you get a great view of Lake Michigan. From the shores of Lake Michigan, I'm Chuck. I'm Poppins. At the Lake Bluff Arboretum. Arboretum? Arboretum. 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 <laughs> Where was I? Insert something truly inspiring here. We'll see you later.